my mark, get set, go. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the podcast. It's All Fish and Ships, the podcast. My name is Thor, and uh, I'm happy to have you here on a very special episode. Uh, this is episode is we're going to entitle A Bicycle Built for Four. Um, this is episode 42, um, and we will be, we're out and about in the world, and we're going to ride on the pe- 417 Pedal Tours Sip and Spin Mobile Bike O'Death. It's going to be fun on a bun. Uh, we are currently waiting for Ethan, who you know from uh, the Fish and Trips episode, to join us. He's the proprietor of this here business, and he ain't showed up yet, so we're going to start the podcast without him. <laughs> Um, order is a little off tonight because we're all sitting weird, but to my left, uh, the, the, uh, the manager of this current outing, this day trip, we've got Amanda. Hi. Uh, next to Amanda, uh, on a tight timetable and needs to get someplace. He's got a haircut that he cannot miss. We've got Tyler. How do you like them, Apple? Oh, dang it. I forgot. I know. We'll get it eventually. Uh, and then finally, bringing up the rear, uh, dressed his, uh, chief's best because he had a good draft. His name's Bubby. Where it's all fantasy meets Texas. Man, if he wow. does not have the piece Giant of paper, he I... is boned on it. <laughs> uh, yeah. We're fantasy meets ecstasy. It's uh, Bubby. No, but this is exciting. We just came off a monsoon torrential downpour a couple of days. It's a beautiful day downtown, and, and we're going to um, enjoy so a little bit I, of... I will say that there, there's another reason why we're not podcasting from my house, and yeah. it's because my basement is currently underwater. <laughs> Um, there is standing water in my basement, and it will not go away for the next three or four days. Nice. So this worked out for more than one reason. Yep. So this worked out well. Um, we're very excited here. We're going to be uh, going out on this pedal tour, kind of pedaling around the neighborhood, checking out the sights of downtown Springfield as we podcast for you folks. So we're very excited. This is a new thing for us. Hopefully it all works out. It is a we'll bike slash bar. Yeah. Yep. Yep, you get your own drinks, you go around, you get a little tour of downtown. Hopefully we'll see some maybe some crackheads, maybe some interesting some interesting sights along the way. 100%. We got drink. Um, <laughs> we've got uh, a booster seat for Bobby so he can see up over the top Aww. of the, uh, the bar. So we're very excited about that. So um, we must say that this bike is much larger, I think, than we all anticipated. Oh. And luckily, turns out there is electric motors on this thing because there's no way that the four of us are going to pedal this anywhere of this any thing, great distance. This thing is big. And I came in here and I was like, I really hope they're not anticipating me getting this thing around no, the neighborhood. I sure hope I not. I will die. But we do have pictures. We'll post those I just so you can see what it looks like. Pedals. I think it, the seat might be adjustable. I know you're not used to it, but you have to hold the mic up to okay. your face. Sorry. You <laughs> <laughs> told me not to be loud. <laughs> I know, but So I'm I trying d- not to be loud. You're fine just okay. talking to the mic. That's what the mixer's for. Okay. That's what I do with you guys all the time. Amanda's running the board today, so it's a it's a whole new experience. Everybody's thrown off. I don't have headphones. I'm just... I'm just can't hear it's nothing. You can probably hear the patrons here. behind us a little bit. We that's have all right. background noise. That's part, right? of, the, that's part of the on-spot location here. All right. Anything? Anybody we'll ha- send it off to friend Ryan, and he can mix it. You're right. <laughs> Ryan, this one's coming to you. <laughs> all right. So I learned a new thing today. All right. Tyler's going to tell us a so story So we were here. looking at fabric swatches because for work, we do a lot of fabric work for different things. We match fabrics and colors and whatnot for different spaces. And I found out that most fabric is tested by the Weizenbeek Double Rub. Bubby? When you were in college, you ever had one of them wise and big double rubs? Dated her in high school. No, but it sounds pretty good. <laughs> I'll try that. The wise and so apparently there is a, a coarse canvas type piece of fabric that is affixed to an arm and it goes left and right essentially. And that is called once it does that, it's called the double rub. Once left, once right. That's the double rub. Definitely so as many of those as you can get in a row until you start to see where it puts it in a category and tells you the quality of the fabric. And what's a high what's a high double rub score? Thirty thousand. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. You're going to so chafe yourself if you get a double rub that long. <laughs> Be careful, but Google Weizenbeek double rub. <laughs> All right. The Weizenbeek. W Y Z N B E E K. Weizenbeek. So that's exciting. So that was a rabbit hole that Rich and I fell down for right? about an hour today. Shouts out to Rich and his coffee yep. and his bass guitar. Um, I had. Uh, so I've got this cough. I, the cough is back. The 100 year. No, it's a different one now. Oh. I had, a, I had the flu or a cold or something. Probably a cold. We'll call it a man cold, so it's worse than a regular yes. cold. And uh, as always, fluid into my lungs. Now I've got a cough again. Um, have you ever... Um, so 
this weekend it was real bad. The cough mm-hmm. was real bad. And there was a point where I was coughing so hard that I got a hurl on deck. Oh. And to the point, like, I was in trouble. <laughs> like, my mouth started watering. And I'm like, oh, no. And I did not want next. to go down this road, <laughs> even a little bit. So I'm sta- standing in the bathroom just praying to the, to the gods above and trying to contain just the copious amounts of drool coming out of my <laughs> face. Um, and it was a good, it was a good five minute battle, and I finally <laughs> victorious. And I'm not, I'm not one who's against a good, you know. Sometimes if you you're sick, you out. just got to get everything out of Absolutely. here. But this time, that was not going to help the situation in any way, because that was not getting the, the fluid I needed out of me. Yeah, that was all living in my lungs. So um, I'm past that. <laughs> Did past you have it, a right shot past of it. Lort? We're so it's past it. He still list. has it. I don't think I'm up to it quite yet, but. I did ask my wife last night, do you think I just need to go to the basement and shoot, get a shot of that damn Malort and <laughs> see if that'll... But I don't think I'm there yet because that's not going to fix the fluid in my lungs problem. No, but it might fix the cough. But yeah, the overall problem no. is still there. Yeah, that's still going to be um, a thing. So speaking of my wife, mm-hmm. I get an email from her the other day. Okay, she is at a company event. Do you know where my phone is? That's what, she that's, what she, that's what she emails me. Do you know where my phone is? I can't find it. Now, first, my first question is, how the hell how is she How did you send, send an email? <laughs> right. How is she sending me this Old email? Old school? No, I think she had her watch with her, and she can, okay. she can do communication on her watch as right. well without her phone. Yep. So I think that's how she sent me the email. So I'm like, sure, I'll play this game. And I pull it up, and it's where she is. And I'm like, it's... Uh, so I email her back. It's with you somewhere. <laughs> and she goes, okay, can you call it? And so I call it, and it rings, and it rings, and it rings, and she doesn't pick up. And I'm like, okay. So I just hang up. I'm like, okay, I'm not either. playing this game. Yeah, I'm not playing this game. And then I get an, another email. I can hear it in my bag somewhere, but I can't find it. So I'll, I'm good. And so that's the end of that, right? I get home. She goes, there's another pocket on my purse. <laughs> I'm like, what are you talking about? She goes, there's a pocket on the inside of my purse that I didn't know about. It still has the tissue paper in there. I've never <laughs> seen this pocket before. She goes, but that's where my phone was. And I was like, weird. She goes, yeah, I kept ringing it. I couldn't find it. Then you called it. I couldn't find it. And then like 20 minutes later, half hour later. I find that so hard to believe because I have been with my wife to pick out a new purse. And that thing is inspected more oh, than right? a new aircraft coming out of the hangar. Been, like, this might have been uh, from her mom. Okay. Uh, her mom. So this is second generation. Didn't know that pocket was there. Yeah, no, yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> that tissue paper was still living in there. So they were cleaned out her mom's closet here like a couple weeks ago, and she's like, "Oh, what are you doing with all these purse?" And she has like the same purse like three times uh-huh. that she didn't know was up on like the top shelf. She just kept <laughs> buying the same purse. So or one that looked exactly like the one she already had. So my wife was like, "Yoink!" So I'm gonna take that purse home with me. That is so funny because I got a I got a <laughs> frantic call from my wife. Right, my my wife. She does a lot. My wife. A lot of stress. My wife. And I get a call, and it's her on her Bluetooth in her car, and she's just frantic and crying. She's like, I can't find my phone. I'm like, you're on it. <laughs> in your car. It has fallen down between the seats, and she can see it, but she cannot physically oh. get to that phone, and she's just losing it. I almost had to leave work in Springfield and drive 20 minutes to Ozark to fish that phone out of her car for her I, I've, because we have she lost, couldn't physically get to it. We have lost her phone. in the. So we have a sectional couch, and each of the sections kind of – Pins together. Uh huh. Here comes Ethan. Hi. Hey, there hey, he is. Ethan. Um, he seems a bit frantic, so we'll just keep on doing what we're doing. Yeah. Um, oh, he's gonna pull that thing out. We he's might be getting on this thing. This here might be happening minutes. for real, ladies um, and gentlemen. Anyway, so the sectional couch. She's dropped her phone in there, and there was one time I thought we were not getting that phone back. Because right, I've tried taking that sectional apart, and you you can't do it. There's no getting that. Thor thing. comes in with a hatchet. Like, right. All right. Well, I've got all like the, the footrest flipped up, and I'm kind of half crawled under there, and it's like wedged between like two pieces of metal. So you have to like kind of inch it up, inch it up, inch it up, and finally you can whip it kinda out the top. Flip of it, it up in the yeah. So yeah. I fished out. I know I know the pain that you live there with that one. <laughs> it was so funny. For I'm like, sure. I'll come get your our phone, TV I guess. Will, remote will fall down in our couch. It's like that. You have to reach down in the cushion. Way down in the bottom, and grab it and pull it out. Does anybody have an Apple TV? Yes. Okay. No. You know how small that stupid ass remote oh, is. Oh yeah. I lost that remote for a good eight months. I had to buy a different, larger universal remote that I programmed for everything. Yeah. Because I could not find that remote. You can't tell Why me that we didn't learn our lesson. So you remember back in the day when cell phones were becoming more and more popular, and they had the Firefly. Is this phone? 
that was you know just yeah. barely bigger than your earlobe. But yeah, I think yeah. at that point they're like, you know what? Maybe smaller isn't the best way to go. No. So and make th- make a remote that I can grab a hold of. Nobody's heard. <laughs> yeah, no one's gonna complain about that. <laughs> All right, folks. We are now on the bike mobile here. The the pedal bar, the the slipping 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 slide. The slipping slipping slide slip and spin. Slipping spin. Slip seven. Slipping spin. Um, it's very exciting. We're real good at going backwards so far. We have not made any forward progress yet, but yeah. I'm looking forward to forward progress. Um, we are all drinking complimentary, um, <laughs> absolute. Normal. Which is not normal. No. I, and when, we, when I say complimentary, I mean leftover from the people who were here before us. <laughs> yeah. Absolute vodka. Not intentionally uh, placed. I have the uh, shout out. Grape. Yep. Shout out. Uh, that's a free plug for those folks. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm not a huge fan of the seltzer. No. I think it's delicious. I enjoy free it's, drinks, though. It's way, it's way bubbly. It, it's, it's better than nothing. Yeah, yeah. yeah just drive around. Yeah. He's going to take, yeah. yeah. take his places, and we're going to talk yeah. about it. We're hoping to see some crackheads, maybe some... Yeah. Oh, no, hold we fast. Do we have time yeah. before going, Tyler right. has to come back? Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's go do that. This, uh, oh, awesome. oh, 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 there we go. go. I don't have to pedal for nothing. This thing just goes on its own. Now, do they, do they have to... Is there a reason we have to pedal, or can we just coast? Because you, you need to pedal. Okay, so right. there's one spot. It yeah. doesn't go uphill as good as you would hope. No. Uh oh, Amanda's. Hold on a second. But I think the four of us. Oh, no. It's good. I got all tangled up. Huh? I got all tangled up. I know. We're going to get Did untangled. You? Amanda's got her headphones cables. Ra- <laughs> it's wrapped like 90 times around there. Yeah, it yeah. is. This is made That's for all right. us. Amanda. We've already we've already determined that maybe podcasting on this thing wasn't our best plan ever, but it is our only plan ever. Yeah, I stand by it. Thirty seconds in. That the, is your microphone. <laughs> this is the best day ever. No, that's not hers. That's yeah. I gave her the short cable. This is, I would say, I know about par for how every podcast goes yep. here. Because once again, we went with the "we'll figure it out as we go" plan, and it's going real well. Bobby, how are you feeling over there? Uh, hot, because yeah. the sun is right at my back. Bobby likes that. Uh, there we go. That's all right. We could be in the three foot deep water in uh, Thor's right basement. That. You could go to. The, we could. You could be standing in water in my basement or the lake in my backyard right now. It rained ridiculous last night. Like they were saying, like four four inches four an hour. Inches. Good all right. to go. You're used we're to. We're un- we're unhooked. We're back in action. No, I'm hooked. Again. I'm gonna pretend to pedal like I'm helping. Yep. It's like shake and bake. Don't lose your uh, cell phone. Don't lose your stuff over there, I Tyler. Don't, I'm 100 percent sure that I can't I like, put in a cup holders. <laughs> Anything in your front or your back pockets might fall out. Oh, hell, fired! Haley didn't tell me that all this stuff was going to fall out of my pockets, but we got this now. Welcome to the Seat of Your Pants podcast, ladies and gentlemen. We're just figuring this out as we go. Right. We are I'm excited about this. About to pull out in downtown Springfield. It's a beautiful battle, afternoon. Battle, battle. Make it go. We're you got to make it go. Yeah, that's, that's all you guys. What? The curves. Oh. This is this is terrible. That's better. Yeah, I was gonna say. We like it when you pedal. <laughs> with with not Ethan's us, help, so. that's a lot of fun there. So this is a just to give folks at home a description of what we got here. This is a rolling bar, one, two, three, four, five, six seats per side, plus a, a bench seat in the back. Yeah. And then the captain of the ship up here is driving us around. Is this thing electric? Yeah. So an electric mobile. So yeah. we're we're friendly with the environment. Not only are we pedaling. <laughs> but yeah. no gas. We shouldn't uh, have uh, alcohol out. out. There's no pedals back there. Right? So. I know. Sitting in the back seemed like the good plan, but yeah. we're not on the good plan. Bobby, you we're need, sitting you in need the middle. Pedal. So as it was stated, we got uh, Ethan and Haley right? uh, here at the Sip and, sip and Spin. Well, so how many people, people does, the, uh, does the bike typically hold? Holds up to 14. Up to 14 people. And that excludes the driver, I assume? So 14 plus the driver. You're, get, put the microphone in her face, Tyler. <laughs> you get 14 of your friends and family, and then you get a driver and a host with it as well. That's fantastic. This is definitely could be. I could see this being a good time. You know, a nice evening out with friends, very entertaining. Right. We're at. We're having a nice evening out with friends here. Yeah. Pedal yeah. faster, Bubby. We're going downhill. Pedal yeah. faster. Let's see if we can. <laughs> we're going downhill. Jumping over a ramp. <laughs> I got short legs. <laughs> Them Duke boys. We could have adjusted the seat for you. I also have a bad knee, so. so he's got yeah. a bad knee, so. <laughs> well, luckily for you, it's going to be worse after this. I'm doing the best this. I can. Does this thing have a cool horn? I was going to say, please, honk, honk. go ahead and honk that. Ru- Ow. Oh, that's a good one. 
It sounds like somebody's screaming like we ran over them. <laughs> yeah. We don't my have grandpa's to 1913 hill, buggy over here. We're gonna we're gonna turn into the into downtown here by the Metro Credit Union once traffic goes by. Yeah. We don't have to pedal up that hill, do we? What's top speed? We, do have one we just came down. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. when that's when you get to work out. Yeah, you want to get all good and schnookered up, and then you want to have to pedal up a hill. Already riding up my junk here. <laughs> yeah. I am not uh, built for bicycle seats. For those of you playing along, I'll home. drink to that. <laughs> Bobby's gonna drink to anything. So whatever. So we are entering the downtown area, which, for all intent and purpose, uh, for drink. a college drink. town, this drink. is right. You like that? <laughs> this is the happening spot for all of the college and um, I don't know, college age, post and pre uh, in hipsters. The area. Hipsters. So it's where all the bars and clubs uh, and restaurants and all that kind of stuff are. You get a lot of. There we go. Losing less stuff as we go. Yeah. They got a nice little area up top we can tuck our stuff up in so we don't just litter the highway with all of our shenanigans. <laughs> Cup holders. Cup holders. Um, now, this is located, I guess, for those of you in the greater Springfield area or the greater uh, southern Missouri area. Uh, 417 Tap House is the uh, where this thing is uh, Only half the bike is pedaling, I would like to point out. Huh? I said only half the bike is pedaling yeah. right now. Oh, I'm pedaling. Don't don't say I'm not pedaling. I'm, we're, I'm we're, helping. We're stopping. Keep, <laughs> if you keep pedaling, he can't stop us. He doesn't have to. Uh. He ain't in charge of us. All right, turns out that he has a brake that I can't overcome. Yeah. <laughs> we do have to stop at red lights. Yeah, yeah I try to. Stop. I try we to are a normal the vehicle there. that's operating. This podcast is just going to be mayhem to listen <laughs> to. I was going to say, this one's going to be all over the place, but this is fun for us, if nothing else. <laughs> Okay, yeah. put the microphone forward, Tyler. Oh, yeah. So, Soft Tails is one of our right up in like, face. partner businesses. <laughs> and they've been a partner with us for about two years. And at least with a bike that I have been on, have never stopped there. And last Monday, we got a group to stop there as a spot. And I was so happy about it. <laughs> this is the awesome. first time. <laughs> <laughs> and now I try to get every single bike to stop there. But I don't think it's going to now, what I is did. this place? Soft Tails. What is it? Oh, it's a strip club. <laughs> yeah, Soft Tails. It's, a little, on, it's, a, it's yeah. a little building just down from here. I used to park my AT&T truck there all the time <laughs> because I knew they would like that. So Tyler and I only know Who's one right? strip club here in town. Yes, we do. They have really good steak. Oh, the, the place we have been to, it does not have really good steak. <laughs> no. It is the former Sassy Reds. Sassy Reds or Ace's place here Ace's in town. Ace's place. It is um, sketchy and, you and are, sticky all at the same time. Yeah, if you are a uh, rock bottom in your life, let me advise yeah. a place for you to go. It's called the former Sassy Reds. Yeah, <laughs> just when you think you're at rock bottom, go over there and you'll know <laughs> that you have a ways to go. We just passed the uh, Quonset Hut that was the former home of Casper's, <laughs> yep. where you could get the uh, greasiest burger you ever done at and a Frisbee full of saltines. <laughs> True story. True story. No and Now it's a vape shop. You can also get I the big wiener. And the big wiener. They had and the, the big, big wiener there. Why do I feel like I have to pedal this as fast as the <laughs> motor's going? Like I can't just sit here and pedal at a normal. Yeah, but t Tyler like could pay pedal at a slow speed or as fast as he currently is. And he has chosen as fast as he currently is. <laughs> yeah. I could do this nice and relaxing, but we're not. Have we talked about Ca Captain Briney on this show? I don't know if we've talked about Captain know. Briney or not. No, I okay, know. so I'm going to give a quick... So. In, the reason I'm telling you the story is in Casper's, there's a picture of Captain Briney. Captain Briney, in like the 70s, like late 60s, early 70s, was a TV children's host um, here in Springfield, Missouri. And he was dressed as a sea captain. And he had a little monkey, monkey. named Salty the Salty. Monkey, yep. who was his pal. And basically, this was a little spider monkey, and all it would do was sit on his shoulder and crap on his shoulder and bite him on the ear the whole time. And the kids thought it was real funny, and they really enjoyed it. <laughs> we have a uh, friend of the podcast who, uh, he had an imaginary friend, and that imaginary friend was that Salty the Monkey. And he would tell us all about the adventures of that imaginary monkey uh, and what him and that imaginary mon monkey used to do. <laughs> and this man was mostly slower at the time, Maybe not during the monkey in incidents, but at least during the time telling the story. I bet they went to soft tails. All the time. All the time. And that being that's said, there was a picture oh, of Captain Briney and Salty club? the Monkey. Yeah. 
in the nice old looking. Caspers. They're the cat and the fiddle. Yeah. <laughs> so there used to be a bar in this town called the Cat and the Fiddle. Oh, yeah. When I first moved to town. And I was convinced that was a strip club. <laughs> just convinced. And it turned out it wasn't. Funny thing is, is growing just, up here, I lived here growing up, and I thought it was too up until the time it was demolished. And then I realized it was not. So now we are in what I would call a seedier section of downtown Springfield. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, there's very fine lines down here. Did you say a senior? Yeah, senior. 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 <laughs> Turn your hearing up, Bubby. Have headphones, remember? Yeah, turn your head, turn your uh, hearing aid up, Bubby. Now, I will say that the pedal is just on my bike, at least, is just far enough back that I keep catching my toe on the thing as I go around. Scoot your toes back. I should have probably Gar feet. Well, moved my I start seat backwards, up. but then this podcast is in mayhem. <laughs> That's Coming up fun. behind us, we got the lovely Hollywood theaters. Shut down. Close Is it? it? Yeah, they closed that down. Aw. How about you mention the I Blue Room? I bet it's room lovely. You can't. There. Yeah, there's Blue Room and Comedy Club. Can't They're find out not now. closed down. Kenny DeFore Fest is coming up, so make sure you get your tickets for that, whatever that is. Yeah. Oh, uh, we're going uphill now. <laughs> right? We don't care. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the sponsor gets a full ad read. But we'll shout out. But the problem is that we will shout out a business, and then if we don't like that business, we will badmouth that business. <laughs> yeah, same sentence. We'll yeah. say it right to their face. And let me tell you right now, whoever made that sweet tea, Moonshine, has got some bad bashing from us. Yeah. yeah. We're going to roast them hard. That. And Malort's may or may not have gotten good press from us. I'm not but 100% sure. Malort wasn't trying to be sweet tea. Malort was Malort, <laughs> and I was like, all right. Yeah, well, I'll accept that. You knew what you were getting into there. Sweet but, tea was a lie. Yeah, don't lie to me right on the bottle. We've verified that Malort is medicinal, though. It, yeah, it is. is medicinal. So that's good. Yeah, it did live up to that name for sure. We should all get tattoos. No. I, we're just driving by a <laughs> tattoo place. Um, we're also driving by a cigar bar. So Let's here, all get a cigar. On, on, your, on my left, Bobby's right, there's a mural, um, and that's Manoli the Flying Greek. Uh, he was a wrestler. Did you know that? I didn't, like I didn't know who that was going to be. Here. He was. Down here in Springfield? Yeah, down here in downtown Springfield. Did and then away? he passed away not too long ago. Yeah. I did not know that. And they, <laughs> they put that mural up. I love that Bob, Bobby can either talk or pedal. <laughs> and they're both at the same time. All right. It's either pedal or talk, yeah. not both. Yeah. Oh, we have spotted crackheads, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we have a be, slew of crackheads. Nice. Oh. I'm not. Oh, Point them as they, you know, call them as you see them. Put, put a coin in that slot over there, Tyler. I will not. We're passing down through the uh, square of downtown Springfield. Yep. Which this is, is uh, uh, a, a spot for the homeless and destitute. And what is that smell? Yep. That's weed, Bubby. That is the <laughs> smell of weed. That is legal smoke, Bubby, is what that is. <laughs> that probably came from that place right behind you. <laughs> nah, you wish it did, though. Swin. Okay. All right, small te technical difficulties there, folks. We flipped the bike over. <laughs> But we got yeah. it back on its wheels. Luckily, there's a fire extinguisher on board. No casualties. <laughs> no, we ran out of batteries. Uh, turns I'm out still you got to put fresh batteries in. But we got a battery pack now. Yeah. So we're good to go. Yeah, you yeah. go. Yeah. We got we're this, making friends. Yeah, the Chevy Nova uh, behind us. Amanda this. bought a, a brand new SD card for this. Uh, this. Oh, I'm not talking to him. This. Um, particular experience for this particular experience and bought the biggest one she could possibly find in the world yeah. i did it so we're trying to fill it up with money. all the words we can <laughs> oh now we're going downhill everybody oh. put oh. your hands up Bobby, it feels like you're running an incredible rate of speed harry <laughs> <laughs> this is this is kind of frightening i did this in a golf cart once it did not work out very well we let's hope the brakes work we have to pedal backwards <laughs> he's got no right. brakes that's stop. how you stop it back no in the old no old days brakes. Feet down, Fred Flintstone. <laughs> Put your feet. Okay. All right. Now we have to assist we have the to bike pedal. up the hill because Bubby insisted on going down a hill. <laughs> We're in the bike lane. So now we have to work. Because technically we are a bicycle. <laughs> Bubby, I'm Bubby can't pedal. I'm pitching my junk here as I pedal. Right? Let <laughs> me honest with you. Just, I don't have that problem. I don't know how any of this works. Go, Bubby, go. <laughs> Pedal faster, brother. I feel like my pedal I can't not talk and pedal at the same time. We should just pick up some people <laughs> off the street and see if they can help us out here. Yeah. Get some homeless up here helping us. Somebody get off and push. <laughs> oh. This is hold fast. 
Okay. Oh, hey, look, it's the saddest, oh. saddest steak burger joint in all the land. I think they're close. So yeah, me and Thor ate there a couple of years ago, and no, it wasn't was, even that long ago. It was the like, saddest experience ever. We go in there, and there is a lady sitting in the back corner at a booth with a cash register just sitting in front of her. What? And then there's Hi. Uh, what? And then there's like two other people in there, and Tyler and I sit down, and she hands us a menu, and we're we're both like looking at each other, like I think we may have made a mistake. <laughs> And so we order our little food, and she comes up and serves it to us. And that steak burger, that that thing that I could have got from Steak and Shake, cost us what, like fifteen? It was it was well 18. more than it should have been, and I'm pretty sure it was just a patty of grease. So Bubby's then, off the bike. Bubby, even though given specific instructions at the beginning of this ride not to get off the bike, <laughs> Bubby, here he is. first thing he does when we slow down is hop off the bike. We're gonna go get a drink at Hold Bath. Okay, we're going to get a drink at Whole Fast. And then we'll come back and tell the people about it. And then right. we're going to come back, so stay tuned, and we shall return. Okay. We can save that for later. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we just stopped. Where was, the, what was this place? This is Hold Fast. Yeah. Yeah, we'll head that direction. Uh, Hold Fast Brewery, we had a flight of beers. Um, it turns out I don't like beers. <laughs> we had, um, well, Bobby, which one did you get? My win. What would you get? What was it called? Uh, the Dream Cream. Bubby's got the Dream Cream. It wasn't too bad. Then I got the uh, 420 bathroom floor, uh, and it tasted like the bathroom floor of a dispensary. <laughs> I got the Black or Wallace Black IPA, which is a stout um, caramely IPA, yeah, that which good. Thor hated. Yeah, that was not good. And then Amanda. I got the peanut butter or something. Yeah. The peanut butter one, and that was my least favorite one. I liked it. Because uh, I don't, it turns out, like beer at all. That's all right. Um, that is why I am California sober. <laughs> but now we are leaving the lovely people at whatever that name, Hold Fast. Hold Fast. And we're headed uh, straight through an intersection. We're not going to wait for the red light this no. time. Turning right uh, by the legendary gonna... Shrine Mosque where all of the big shows in town come through. This that is where uh, we all right. would have gone to see the circus had I had any friends. <laughs> But it turns out... This is true. I didn't. And no one wanted to go to the circus with me. Maybe next year. Right into the podcast if you'd like to hear us go to the circus. <laughs> no or, one requested the circus. Or if you'd like to write into the podcast and you know, tell us to quit going places because all the podcasts <laughs> sound like this. You know, I think we should do this more often and there's a reason for that. It's because I don't even care if there's a recording device. The looks that we are getting from riding around on a bicycle, all four of us having microphones, is from every single person that we pass. We wondering should, who in the hell these people are and why they're talking into a microphone. We should just secretly like walk around with microphones not hooked up to anything. Exactly. Um, so, oh, oh here billiards. we turn down we're going the, we're going by the Discovery Center here. Yeah. We're by the uh, iconic billiards. billiards. I, did, I had to go to a work function once here. I've been to a birthday party there. Yeah, yeah. Was it yours? No. Nope. Oh. No. Nope. It can be, though. <laughs> Making friends. Bubby, would yeah, you like to say, go to the Discovery Center fun. for your birthday this year? Only if, only if I can play. All right, I'm going to say this out loud, and I don't, I'm sure she would be as well, and I know Whitney would. We should do this one night. Yeah? Just get the... Get the if get, nothing else, just travel and get some food. We get a drink. No like, microphones. No microphones. Yeah, but this would... I think my Bubby, wife... Bubby, would your, would your wife like to come on this? Yeah. I don't have a wife. Fun. I won't be going. Amanda, you can choose whoever we can, you would you like. Can, no. Bring Ed. No. No. No, we don't like her. No, we're mad at her. I know. Chad, if you're listening to this podcast, we're all mad at you. <laughs> I'm, angry, so I'm really angry. surprised angry. Tyler suggested that. He's got to be home at 7. Yeah, right? So uh, here in, in this in this little park here we're about passing by, there's a phone booth that has a tree that's grown yeah. up through it. This is also where I saw that homeless guy with the boomerang. So as he, that was his weapon of choice was a boomerang. And you know what? If you're going to... Carry around something that's going to scare somebody off. If you whip that a boomerang at me, I'll probably make a turn and go the other way. I would turn around and go the opposite direction. Oh, shit. That motherfucker's got, he's got a boomerang. <laughs> I don't I know what he knows. why they call it Druffs. Why do they call it Druffs, Tyler? Because it's in the Woodruff building. There you go. <laughs> Druffs, if you ain't been there, it's delicious. <laughs> I'm a genius. Super sandwich. It is delicious. We go there. We we, we make the hike out here every All once right, in a while for lunch. Right <laughs> 
Come on, paddle fast. We'll hit the car. I love that Bubby's like high stepping as he's paddling. <laughs> he's like, don't overpower no, I'm me. Not. Uh-huh. Hey, Bubby, say hi to that wiener dog behind you. Woof, woof. <laughs> Look at your little he went, with, he went with woof, woof. <laughs> you don't speak to the dog directly, Bubby. I don't think he understood what you said. Speak I don't its think language. He did either. Yes, speak its language. Uh, Bubby, by the way, is wearing his captain's hat as he is the captain of this particular he bike is boat. The captain of the ship. I, is, I think everyone needs to take a turn next to Bubby because it's really funny to watch him pedal. <laughs> He uh, he's high step <laughs> pedaling over there. Yeah, they I raised his a, seat up. He might be a show. He's a lot better on the knee. He's got better. his hat crooked to the side and jaunty style. Because <laughs> it it's uh, like he's, he's half a flight. It's a good one his, size too big. He's got his beautiful little uh, cherry flavored seltzer in front of him there, and he's high stepping it down the street <laughs> on his little motor bi- mobile bike. Yeah, Bobby, you pedal. Did you hear that? <laughs> you I'm the captain. Time? Every person just intrigued oh, Ty- with the fact Tyler's that we have microphones. That's all I can see. It's the floor. first time pa- Tyler's ever felt the, famous. On the bar. No, it's just weird. All right. So um, we're passing by the uh, YMCA here. I used to have my birthday parties at the Y. Not this one particular, but yeah. the YMCA because they had an indoor pool. I'd rather go to 1984 right, right behind you. Come here for your birthday. Right. That'd be a bit of a hike. Uh, <laughs> but no. Every year. Uh, for like three or four years in a row, we used to have my birthday party at the Y because you could rent out to like the little the little rumpus room, and then uh, <laughs> they'd let you have the the pool for like an hour by yourself. Now it's you pretty, just Thor out there by yeah. Yourself. I didn't have any friends. <laughs> have Actually, one year that almost happened. Aww. One year is almost just me because I kind of forgot to invite everybody to my birthday party, and so then they had a birthday party and like two people showed up because <laughs> I was the only two I told. Well, I got nothing else going on. I guess I'll go to Thor's birthday party. Right? And they're like, "Where is everybody?" I'm like, "Yeah, that, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> I should make more friends." Yeah, I should have more friends, but then I didn't. All right, so Tyler's got to go get his hair cut here. Yeah. So we're g- headed back towards uh, our original stop, Oof. which is good because the seat's riding up on me again. You don't actually have to pedal on this bike, but, no, but you when you're like on you it and you, and you have the pedals under you, you feel like you should be pedaling. Like you feel like I you're not it, participating exactly, if you're not, not pedaling. Uh, we're almost back to the... Uh, What's the name of this 417 bar? 417 Tap House. 417 Tap, Tap House. Home. Shout out. Of the, the, the sip, and, sip, and, sip and slide. Slip, slip and spin. <laughs> slip and spin and slide. You should get like a whole bunch of different businesses that are all just sipping something. Is that the name yeah. of their flight? Huh? Is that the name of their beer flight here? No. That's the name of this thing <laughs> that you're on is the these, these sip and spin. spin. Not the 417. Not sit and spin. Not sit and spin. Not, spin. not slip and slide. Um, so make sure if you're in the greater downtown Springfield area that you check this thing out. Yeah. How, how do I get a hold of you guys? 417pedaltours.com. 417pedaltours.com. Check these guys out because this thing is actually pretty badass. Yeah, I could do this probably for a while. <laughs> Except for you can't fun. because you're a loser. <laughs> in theory. And you have to go home because <laughs> your wife says you're not allowed after out after dark. I turn into a mogwai. <laughs> <laughs> right street, light, street lights, come on. Tyler's got to be home. <laughs> Don't feed him. <laughs> so we're going to drop off Tyler, yep. um, and then the fun will continue uh, without him. So, uh, Tyler, get wrecked. Get wrecked. <laughs> we'll see you later. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. It's been a wonderful time. I appreciate it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Tyler. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Bye, guys. Bye. So uh, for those of you playing along at home, we just hit uh, 2,000 downloads. What? Oh, what are we going to do, kids? I don't know. Soft tails. We're going to soft, soft Bubby. Tails. Bubby. <laughs> Come on, Bubby. How many? How many? Wait, I, gotta go get I, I got no ones. I got ones. She's got ones. <laughs> Come on, Bubby. <laughs> Poor Bubby. Better yet, let's see if we can get you a job at soft tails. <laughs> Come on, just for the night. I'm good. Last Amateur. There on the Monday, it was pretty sad. We were only people, so I tipped the, the girl on the phone pretty well because I felt bad. Oh, that was nice. So, so she, yeah, there was, there was not a lot of business last week, so uh, they got... The poor little girl that was up there. It was just one girl? It was just one. Last time I was at uh, at uh, uh, Ace's place, there it was like Wednesday at like 1 in the afternoon, and there was a girl dancing. Uh-huh. And I was like, this is sad for you because I am the only person here, and I am just trying to fix the thing. Oh, right. Thor, <laughs> Thor wants a shot. A shot? Sure. Yeah. I want shot, shot. 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 Shot
Hi, you going? Here. We're going. Shot Shack. Just a little old place where Bubby can get liquored up. Bubby's now got his hat on backwards. <laughs> so drunk Bubby's coming out, and I'm always a fan of drunk Bubby. I love drunk Bubby. <laughs> He's the favorite of the, all the Bubbies. One time we were at Bubby's, uh, I think it was your birthday party, maybe? Are we recording? Yeah. Yes. And um, Bubby's gotten pretty pretty liquored up, and he's standing next to me. He goes, I got to go to the bathroom. And I'm like, all right, go to the bathroom then. And then he just stands there. And then they go, then he goes again. He goes, I got to go to the bathroom. That's fine. And I go, Bubby, just go to the bathroom then. And then he keeps standing there. And then he says it the third time, I got to go to the bathroom. I was like, Bubby, do you need me to take you to the bathroom? <laughs> He's like, yes. <laughs> and so I had to walk Bubby into the bathroom. Aww. That was my point, 40th we, birthday party. As we were in the bathroom, he takes a pen out of his pocket <laughs> and signs one of the paintings <laughs> in the restroom. Bubby. Do you remember this? I do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That, what, old Chicago downtown? Yeah. <laughs> and I go, Bubby, that's not your pen. He goes, is now. <laughs> So, I, uh, Drunk Bubby is one of my I favorite remember. of all Bubbies. There's a lot of Bubbies, but that's a good one. So, uh, when's your birthday, Bubby? Wednesday. This Wednesday? Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday. Holy Wednesday. crap. We're going to have a shot for Bubby's birthday. Huh? We're going to have a shot. We're going to have a shot for your for birthday, Bubby. Look at that shot you want. I'm buying. Patron. Patron. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't ask. You didn't want to pay. Patron. Bubby. <laughs> what are you, my mother-in-law? Patron. <laughs> Zambuca. <laughs> Goldschlager. What? No. You don't like Goldschlager? You don't like, like gold flakes in your poop, Bubby? Yo, I, All right, we're back to the same spot again. Yeah, we're just going in circles. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm guy in here again. Uh, we're once again making a uh, right here by, uh, oh, this is the Pen Mac at least. The other place is a bank. <laughs> and we're headed back. This is Campbell Jefferson. Talking to your microphone. Huh? Is that oh? Sure. Uh, I don't know the names of the streets of this town. I do really. <laughs> is that where the Moxie's going? Yes. Weird. The Moxie's got a new location. The old Great Southern Bank. We went to uh, the Moxie for Amanda's birthday one year. Yeah. We I saw was the only one that liked it. Movie. What was the name of that movie? Do you I remember? don't remember. It was like the life and times of, uh, uh, what's his name? Folk singer guy. Yep. But it was like all different actors playing him. Dwayne Johnson. Dwayne The Rock Johnson. <laughs> That's correct, Bubby. <laughs> legendary folk singer. The legendary, <laughs> yeah. the legendary folk singer. Dwayne The Dro- Rock Johnson. Uh, I like Dwayne The Drop Rock. <laughs> Dwayne, <laughs> the, Dwayne The Rock. Dwayne The Walk. <laughs> That's his, that's his uh, Chinese restaurant, Drain the Walk. Oh, crap. Big fancy motorcycle man coming by. Wave at the motorcycle man. Hi. Uh, we're going to go by Ernie Biggs Piano Bar. Bubby, you like the piano bar? My lord. <laughs> He's drunk. <laughs> what the hell? You had half a seltzer and like a third of a beer. And you already tore up from the floor up. <laughs> Oh no, they're closed. Okay. We're just, we're just. Okay. Okay, that's we're fine. going around the block. I'm gonna quit pedaling because this butt bike seat is this butt. <laughs> is right butt butt seat. <laughs> <laughs> if you're gonna come and ride on the sip and slide here, the sip and spin, <laughs> um, maybe bring a pillow with you if you're a, a large boy like myself. Bring a cushion. A cushion of some kind. Maybe your hemorrhoid pillow if you got that. Yeah, yeah. You can sit on the princess seat. I could sit in the back, but then no one can hear me talking. And <laughs> for me, the most important thing is that everyone can hear me talking. Buddy, pedal the bike. <laughs> We're not getting anywhere. <laughs> He's just rocking it back and forth. <laughs> He's not even pedaling. <laughs> I, I look like I'm pedaling, right? Right? <laughs> no one's falling for it. We can stop and get haircuts. You want to get a haircut, Bobby? What? I could use a haircut. All right. Downhill again. We're going to try to get, run it through the red light again. If we pedal fast enough, he can't stop us. <laughs> Just the three of us now. Tyler quit on us. 
Folks at home, I apologize for everything that's happened here tonight. <laughs> and for fun. those of you turning in from court countries wondering what the turning hell Turning in. Turning in. Turning in. For tuning those of you going to bed while you listen to us. From foreign lands. Uh, we've got a bunch from Germany and Spain here recently. I apologize for everything that's happened here today. <laughs> Green, gringo. <laughs> yeah, we got them from Germany and Spain. We're, we're internationally recognized as one of the finest <laughs> podcasts in the world. So, uh, if, you, if you're uh, taking... I think Bubby's got a cramp. Threw, just, you get a cramp? What's happening? I just wrenched my knee. Bubby's down. What kind of insurance you guys got? Bubby's going down. Also, we don't pedal very fast, and we are kind of holding up a bit of traffic here, <laughs> and I, I blame myself for that. <laughs> it's a one-way street with two lanes. The it's gelato fine. place closed down, too. Did you see that? The what? Gelato. Oh, no. I never eat gelato. gelato. This one right here. All right, we're going by Pickleman's. <laughs> the Mud Lounge. My wife used to love the Mud Lounge back yeah. in the day. That was like her go-to. I don't understand it. And now it's the Seven Brew right across the street. Shh. We don't like to talk about that. That they have jacked that traffic up so bad over there because of that Seven Brew. I bet. They like there was an article in the paper about how bad they're jacking up the traffic. It's fine. It'll calm down. The shot shack's closed. Shot shack. Hey, shot shack. That's where we were going. This is definitely a uh, Friday night, not no, a Monday. I'm not, that. not a Monday night. But probably not a Monday night. Yeah. Now, what's the furthest we can go on this bike? Like, like. You don't go okay. to, you don't go not, to Missouri State. Yeah, you, you guys don't drive up to the college and just tour around. Pick up college pick up. kids. Yeah, <laughs> go out to the. Fields. You, go down, you guys ever go down to the ball field? Down to Cardinal Stadium? Okay. For those of you uh, listening at home, he's telling me things about where they can go that is not he's not biked in any way. <laughs> you got reserved <laughs> Wait, was I just parking? Here? Is this reserved yeah, parking? I was literally just here. I think they're taking me out into the woods to kill me. Finnegan? Are we going to Finnegan's? Where are we going? Uh, oh, Sweet Boys. Mondays aren't great for the bike. Mondays are great for the bike. That's when we're like... Yeah, that's your the sweet... Four tours? How late do you guys go? Midnight. Midnight? Like midnight start or midnight finish? Midnight finish. Well, each tour is two hours, so... <laughs> I'm just saying. That's all night. Noon o'clock, you got people out just drinking, just drinking yeah, and driving, weird drinking and. Noon's weird. Ten o'clock's weird for us. Are they rowdy bunch at noon? Uh, they They're were actually. That one was. Were they? Yeah, that one was kind of a crazy one. one. They had, they had uh, bottomless mimosas. Bottomless mimosas. <laughs> Holy hell! <laughs> I asked them how many people threw up on this, and it was more than you would hope. <laughs> <laughs> so. Might be one more tonight. Bobby. Right off the bike. No, I'm talking about Thor. Yeah. Oh. All right, we're gonna go get shots. For we'll Bubby's birthday, and then we'll be back. You can talk if you want. Yeah, you can talk. We are we on the air? Yes. I love being we on have the fun. air. <laughs> All right. So we stopped at. Uh, I'm gonna say. You turned it on yourself, or have you been off the entire time, Bubby? I I mute it's, him a lot because he yeah. breathes heavy. He puts the mic like this and goes. <laughs> he just like up in the microphone. <laughs> uh, we just stopped at. Yeah, we just stopped the Dive Bar Incorporated <laughs> over here and had uh, a drink Sweet out boys. of a bucket. It was real fun uh, for Bubby's birthday. And Smooth. Happy birth- <laughs> How old are you, Bubby? 54. 54? Mm. <laughs> you look good for 54, don't you? Yep. I mean, I'd still hit that. So, Bubby now has a seltzer no one says you and so. several half beers and a shot in them. He's feeling good. Bubby does, made our shot glasses kiss. Yes, good. he did. Yeah, and Bubby <laughs> made a man made man a very uncomfortable by making their shot glasses kiss. And she did not enjoy that. And I'm be honest with you, neither did I. <laughs> I thought for sure he was just gonna break something and we were gonna get kicked out. <laughs> Here she goes. 
Digging around in the cooler. All right, we're back on the square. Uh, mm -hmm. The homeless population has uh, not thinned out. There's a hatch right over here on your left-hand side that you can open up and go down underneath the fountain. To the vampires? Where all the sound equipment is. It's right oh. here. And That's I have been down in that hole uh, to check the sound equipment down there. Aren't there vampires that live down there? Huh? Aren't there vampires that live down there? Vampires the and vampires? Shuds. Trolls? And whatever Bubby said. Troll? A troll? A troll. troll. Uh, some gremlins. Uh, one, one albino alligator. <laughs> it's very exciting under there. <laughs> Now we're going to wave at the, the kids on their scooters. Hey, scooter kids. <laughs> and then there's uh, creepy st naked statue guys down here. When did those creepy things show up? Is Golden Girl still open or did they close down? They're, they're open. Okay. The Rum Club. Hi, man. You ever been there? They have really good pizza oh. and good drinks. And then uh, <laughs> I need to get a library card. Yeah. Did, we just drove by the Park Central Branch Library. And I keep thinking I need to get a library card so I can check books out online. Lydia. Yep. Get some fr get some books and educate myself. That's good. Ugh, and then we're stopped at the stop sign. I can't make the bike go any faster. <laughs> Ethan just really is a stickler about this. <laughs> Stopping at all the stop signs and stuff. Um, his name is Kinky Pinky. Oh, is it now? Kinky <laughs> Pinky. Did you not hear that episode? He did not listen to the episode. I heard it. I li I was about three fourths of that Pinky. episode, but I somehow missed that. Kinky Pinky. He's Kinky, Kinky Pinky. Pinky, and I'm butt stuff. Oh. <laughs> there was a section of that podcast I need to go back and listen to because I must have tuned out at some point. How many mud houses are down here, by the way? Just the two. There's one that serves alcohol and one that serves coffee. Oh, excuse me. Well, have you ever been on one of these bird bu these bird scooters that you rent? No. Electric scooters that you can rent? No. There's always, always the first like time. a couple abandoned up near my house. Like the kids from the school drive it, and they either run out of battery or run out of time on their card, and they just kind of kick that thing over in the grass and wander off. So. Huh? I don't know. They're having a private event there tonight, so we're not. I don't know. And then for some reason here in downtown amongst the bars and all the rest of it, there's just a discount office supply store <laughs> hey, in a prominent location I used to with purchase what appears to be 6,000 chairs for sale. They've probably been they here were, the longest. They were always really good. Where you? Is that where you get your office supplies when from? When I was a facilities manager. Facilities manager? I purchased from... Bobby, I have a question. What? Where the <laughs> hell were you a facilities manager? McLeod USA. This is... What is I've that? known you for <laughs> close to, I don't know, what, 15 years? Yeah. <laughs> we, we'll cut that out. Um, what, what did you do as a facilities manager? This is all brand new information. He managed the facility. I well, I got that part. <laughs> I purchased all the new Furniture. equipment for everyone. We built two brand new buildings on What South kind of business National. is this? Is this like a mafia phone, front? It was a phone company. Phone company? Like what? Like Local, long distance. Oh. All that? Like just, a, just like one day that these, these people are like, I'm going to start my own phone company. Because they're not AT and T, you're not Verizon, you're not Bob Bell. They were. <laughs> oh, singular. I had singular be before it was AT and T, and then after it was AT and T, I think. Yeah. And then they bought it out a second time. Yep. And then they got bought out again, and then ATT went and drove it right into the ground. Aww. That's nice. all. That's too many companies, and now I'm on Visible, and that seems to work out fine. I'm on my grandma's plan. I'm stealing from her service. She don't know it. I'm stealing all her phone calls and texting all her texts. Remember back when you used to have to pay for texts? Yeah. That was a lot. Ten cents out. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when you used to have to pay for long distance. And you had to watch how long you talked. Back in the day. when I, Back in the day. Back in the day. 
When I was a young When I had a home phone and a landline. <laughs> and I was just thinking about that the other day. And an like, answering machine. I was like, why do we have zip codes anymore? Not zip, yeah, not zip codes, but area, area codes. codes. I was like, why do we got those anymore? Just make the number longer at the backside. <laughs> why? <laughs> what? <laughs> It's so dumb. What? That's my new plan. We're getting rid of area codes because I don't, I don't want people to know I'm from Missouri. Door for president. There we go. Vote for me. This is the platform I'm going to live or die by. Now you can kind of get whatever, you yeah, get you whatever, get whatever area, area code you want. I have a New York want. one yeah. uh, through Google phones that I have never used. Oh. But for some reason, it, a bunch of people who speak Spanish have that phone number. And they leave a lot of messages on it that I do not understand. That's fun. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I thought those dogs were humping, but it's not. They're just fighting. <laughs> there are two dogs on a balcony. They're there. playing for friendly. For a hot second there, it looked like they were getting at it, but they're not. Quit Call yelling. it playing friendly. All right. I think at this point, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to wrap this one up. Yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed this podcast or you are just entirely confused about what just happened. So are we. Uh, don't worry. You are in good company. Uh, you can feel free to write us at the podcast and ask us what the hell just happened. Uh, you can reach us at itsallfishandchips at gmail.com. Check out our website, itsallfishandchips.com. Um, join us on our Facebook group. That's where all the pictures from this fun event will be posted, as well as everything else that we do. Uh, it's all fish and chips at the Facebook groups. Uh, just search for us. You should find us. We have a TikTok. We have an Instagram. We don't use them. And, Bobby, I need you to look up there at that balcony and see what's going on. Because, yeah, there's a lot going on up there. Um, so Facebook, Instagram, <laughs> uh, YouTube has all the, yeah, that part there, uh, all the, all the YouTube, uh, video, all the videos we've posted on YouTube and that's all I really got there. I think we're going to sign this. Good Bobby's job. already put down his microphone. He's done. He's just going to watch the show over there. So on that note, um, he's going to turn his microphone back on so he can do this on off. My name's Thor. Bobby. Amanda. And remember, folks, no matter what you got going on in your life, it's all fish and chips.